Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS A10C2 tank killer video, we'll look at the Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System or APKWS laser guided rocket. The APKWS consists of either a Mark 151 or a Mark 2A2 2.75 inch rocket made with a laser guidance kit. Based on laser designation from your targeting pod or an off-board laser designation source, the APKWS, also referred to as the AGR-20A, can have pinpoint accuracy on targets out to 5 miles. The Mark 151 version has a high explosive warhead, and the Mark 2A2 version has a penetrator warhead. Both versions are ideal against unarmored and lightly armored targets. However, the AGR-20A is not designed to defeat tank armor. Seven APKWS rockets are carried in each Lao 131 rocket pod. Let's get started. So before we jump into the mission, let's take a look at some of the HOTAS controls that we'll be using. So as always, we're going to be using the A10C reel as our aircraft type. In the category, let's go to our axis commands first. And we have here is a HOTAS flew horizontal and HOTAS flew vertical as my joystick X and Y on my mini stick in the throttle. And I'll be using that to slew around the targeting pod. Let's go to the HOTAS category now, or hands-on throttle and stick. And the ones we'll be using here uh, will be the uh, boat switch, aft, center, and forward. Uh, the China hat, aft, forward, coming down the coolie switch, down, left, right, and up. The DEMA switch, or display management switch, or aft, forward, left, and right. Left throttle button if I want to use the autopilot. The master mode control button to switch between the general modes of navigation, CCIP, gun, CCRP, and so on. Uh, coming down forward, uh, we have the uh, nose wheel steering button, which I'll use to uh, turn on and off the laser on the targeting pod. Uh, further down, we have the target management switch, or TMIS, for aft, forward, left, and right. And also, sometimes you'll hear me refer to forward as, say, as up or forward, uh, basically both or synonymous. Same with uh, aft and backwards. Uh, again, they're basically both synonymous. Um, we have a trim switch, and then finally the uh, weapon release button to fire the rocket. Okay, let's uh, jump into the lesson. Okay, so let's take a look at using the APKWS laser guided rocket system. Uh, first thing is, let's take a look at the uh, tactical awareness display of the TAD. And we can see that we're flying to steer point one, indicated by the yellow box at the one. And inside of that is a white wedding cake symbol, and that's our sensor point of interest, or a SPI. And at the SPI is also a platoon of three BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicles. Now, to deliver the APKWS, we're going to need to be in CCIP master mode, or continuously computed impact point. And to change that, we're going to press the master mode button on the stick once to go to guns, and then a second time to CCIP. Next step is we need to change the weapon's profile to the APKWS with the 282 warhead. Uh, to do that, we're going to make the HUD the sensor of interest by going up on the coolie switch. Now we've got the dot there indicating that it's in control. And we'll go uh, DMS right short to go to the uh, 151 warhead, the high explosive. And uh, that's really great for infantry, but not as great for lightly armored vehicles. Let's go again to Maverick, again to a second type of Maverick, next to GB-54. And finally, we're at the uh, 2A2, which is the uh, penetrator warhead version of the APKWS. That's a good thing. Now to uh, locate and designate for APKWS, we can use the targeting pod or an external source. But in this lesson, we'll, we'll use the uh, targeting pod. So we'll go to air to ground master mode. Let's go to the control page. I'll put the latch on so that we don't have to hold down the nose wheel steering button to fire the laser the whole time. Come back out. We'll make the uh, targeting pod our sensor of interest by going coolie switch long right. And we'll slew the targeting pod to the speed now by going aft long on the China hat. A little hard to see in CCD, so let's go ahead and change that to the uh, FLIR uh, black hot mode. And to zoom in first, we'll go forward uh, field of view with the uh, China hat. 
and zoom in now using Demos Ford. And now we can see the uh, three BMPs with some infantry around them. Using the slew switch, move the crosshairs over this first target and make it a point target by pressing forward short on the Tima switch. Good to go there. And you can see in the bottom uh, corner here, we have a range of 9.7 miles. Uh, up on the HUD, we have a small square and line indicating that's our speed. And the small diamond in the center is where our targeting pod is looking, so you can see those are correlated. And below that is a standard uh, CCIP rocket reticle with a max range indication of 12,000 feet only. But APKWS can reach out to 5 to 5.5 miles. So when you're gauging range, it's best to use the range here on the targeting pod rather than the reticle. In this case, at about 5.5, I'll turn on the laser to designate, and around 5 miles, I'll launch the rocket. Let's go ahead and turn off the uh, autopilot. Okay, six miles. Okay, laser on by hitting the nose wheel steering button. Five miles, press and hold the weapon release button, and the rocket's away. Let's come off to the left a bit, but be really careful not to uh, mask uh, the laser. So if you see an M pop up next to the flashing L, it means you're uh, approaching a masking zone, so you wanna be really careful at that point. And the higher you are, the less likely you are to have a masking event. Okay, Shaq, good hit. Lids are off. That was so fun, let's do it a second time. So, big turn. That's much better. Now, just like other uh, laser guided uh, systems, you can also manually change the laser code of the rocket type as well. So to do that, as you might imagine, we'll go to the distance page. So let's uh, do that with HOTAS by going coolly switch short to the left. Again, again. And here on the distance page, we can see we have uh, both 151, which again is the high explosive, and the 282, which is the penetrator warhead with the default laser code is 1688. But if you want to change that code, say uh, we change the uh, designation code or an external uh, code, we can go to inventory, select the station, go to rockets, and here in laser code, we can uh, type in the uh, new laser code and then uh, punch it in here with the OSB. Pretty straightforward. Okay, 6.6 .6 out. Let's go ahead and do a second attack. Check. Big turn. Okay, we're gonna uh, rinse and repeat here. Let's zoom in a bit. Move the cursor over to this guy. Gave him a bad day. Point target. Five point miles out. 5.5, laser is on. Rocket away. And shack. So you can see it's a very simple but very effective system and you can carry a lot of them. Uh, seven uh, rockets per pod and you can actually load up to, uh, three pods on some stations. Anyhow folks, I uh, very much hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Thanks.